This is a case report of congenital anomaly of the inferior vena cava with factor V Leiden mutation predisposing to deep vein thrombosis. Congenital inferior vena cava anomalies are an unusual and often underreported in asymptomatic finding. This may predispose patients to recurrent deep vein thrombosis. We report a case of a young and otherwise healthy male with interrupted IVC and concomitant heterozygous factor V Leiden mutation leading to thrombosis of the lower extremities. A 21-year-old male presented to the ER with a one-week history of back pain and one-day history of right lower extremity pain and swelling. He also complained of vague feelings of numbness, tingling, and tightness in his right leg. His symptoms started one week after performing squ intensive squat exercises. His medical history was significant for one episode of pancreatitis, but it otherwise healthy. The patient reported smoking one to two cigarettes on weekends for the past three or four years, but quit four months ago prior to presenta presentation. His family history is significant for varicose veins and his grandmother. On physical exam, his right leg was markedly swollen and edematous. A right lower extremity venous Doppler ultrasound showed acute thrombosis of the right femoral and popliteal venous system. Spiral chest CT showed uh, attenuation of the hepatic IVC and enlargement of the azygos and hemiazygos veins. The patient was um, initially treated with anoxaparin, and in addition, he underwent lower extremity venography with thrombosis of the right and lower extremities. He also underwent catheter-guided thrombectomy and thrombolysis. Postlytic venography showed presence of an interrupted IVC and drainage of the lower extremities by the, by the venous azygos system. The patient was subsequently discharged on long-term warfarin therapy and uh, advised to avoid prolonged immobilization and vigorous exercises of the lower extremities. Workup for thrombophilia revealed that the patient also had a heterozygous mutation of the factor V Leiden. Workup for a pro-thrombin G mutation, lupus anticoagulant, hyperhomocysteinemia, anti-beta-2 glycoprotein antibody, and anti-cardioleptin antibody was negative. Congenital anomalies of the IVC have an estimated prevalence of 0.5 to 0.6% in the healthy individuals and 2% in those with congenital cardiac defects. Congenital IVC anomalies are a reported cause of DVT. Our patient had an anomalous IVC along with factor V Leiden mutation. Congenital IVC anomalies should be considered as a potential predisposing factor in younger patients who present with lower extremity um, DVT and pain after vigorous lower extremity exercises or with recurrent DVT despite being on anticoagulation.